What's up guys? It's Crazy Dirt Biker, here to give you a piece of your medicine for all of you YouTube fiends. I got a fly trap update for you today, and this is something I usually don't do in the middle of the winter time, but in this case someone asked, and if someone asks to do an update, I feel kind of obligated, so I'm going to do it. Um, the reason I usually don't do updates during the winter is because there's really not much to see, but in this case, there actually is. I'm kind of surprised myself um, of how good this looks for this time of year. Obviously, I'm not letting it freeze. I have it in my garage. Believe it or not, 50% of this has probably turned black and I cut it off, which is why there's so much green right now because I do... I keeps it clean um, so when they turn black I cut off the traps if the leaf is still green I leave the leaf I mean you could tell there's still some leaves without the traps and I keep it slightly moist I've hardly watered this thing at all it's very important not to keep it too wet during the winter time um, right now it is dormant and it's growing very, very slowly, if any. Like, I still give it light, maybe five, six hours of light a day. If it's not getting fluorescent light, I mean, any kind of light is better than than no light. I leave it by my garage to get light through the window, indirect sunlight through the window. And that's really enough. That's all it needs. The first couple of years I've had this, I basically left it in here with no light at all. And it grew back the next year. I mean, it'll be fine as long as it's dormant, but it's not ideal. And it came back very slowly during the spring. So I slowly learned that during the wintertime, it's not a bad thing to give them light still. I mean, they're, they still need the light. They just need that cold to get them to go dormant. The cold is very crucial. They need that cold to go dormant. If they don't, they will slowly die over the years and get weaker. So, I mean, that's really it. <clears throat> They're looking pretty good for this time of year. Um, I mean, none of the traps are probably functional. They're growing very super slowly. I'll probably repot them towards the end of February. I'm going to try to make a video on it. And it's going to be kind of difficult, but... I'm going to have to split it up into a whole bunch of videos and edit it. It's going to take a really long time to dig through this, pick every fly trap out individually, separate them and by sizes and put them in water and then repot them. But I'll get to that towards the end of February. But right now they're just in my garage. It's pretty cold in here. It's not going to freeze, obviously. I have a vent if I need to get it warmer I could open it if it needs to be colder I could close it so this is basically what they should look like whenever I first had them I mean they were completely died back during the winter times and they came back during the spring but there was really nothing like this now that I have a whole bunch of them it's kind of different and I've learned a lot over the years and this is all basically one plant I mean this all came from one plant. I think 2018 is going to be the fifth year, I believe. The fifth year that I had these. Aside from two DCXLs that I bought, or actually one DCXL that they gave me, it ended up to be two, and like a gold strike that ended up to be four. So those are hidden in there. I'm going to have to dig them out and find them. I know what the gold strikes look like. They're pretty different than the rest of the typicals. And um, so, yeah, I mean, that's basically it. Give her a little bit of light. Give her a little bit of water. Keep her cold. Don't let it freeze. You should be fine. Venus flytrap update. It's almost the end of December. The middle of winter and it is cold. There's a lot of little babies in there now. 
Like there's like this weird cluster just growing out of here. There's so many on top of each other. They need a bigger pot so desperately and I can't wait to give them that. So right now, I mean, they're growing a lot lower to the ground. If you were to feel them, they're a lot stiffer, they're more rigid. That's a good indication that they're dormant. Not all of it is going to die back. I mean, if you're doing things properly, really it shouldn't. But if it does, it's still okay. Just wait for the spring and you'll find out. But anyway, that's that. Crazy dirt biker over and out. Trap life.